Uh oh. Keep an eye on your valuables. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Ocular Max. Frodo! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have some lovely artwork of a Frodo, aka Swindle. His name is Frodo, he is a munitions expert. Up top here, we have the Perfection series, The Art of Transformation. On this side of the box, we have Combaticons, on the other side of the box, we have a Frodo. Up top, Frodo. On the bottom, Combaticons again. So things, stuff, and things like, WARNING! Don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. You got some, uh, you got, you got these two here, and the rest in shadows, and Swindle's all like, DANCE FOR ME! Doing all kinds of that. And you have the tech specs, and you do get an old school tech spec decoder there, so you can see his stats, hooray for his stats. And you get a bio if you want to read it, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is a collector's card with Swindle right there. And on the back, again, you get the bio, you get the tech specs, hooray for cards. And moving right along, here we have a Frodo, the next component of Ocular Max's Assaultus, their Bruticus, and this is their take on Swindle. So, here is Swindle in his vehicle mode, nice G1 looking Jeep mode, and let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You have some lovely paint for the headlights here. It is transparent uh, plastic, and then it's just painted behind it. Looks really nice, really pops. Got the front bumper there. Got a little bit of paint right there as well. Of course, you have the classic purple hood going on there. You can see the rims done in a gun metal gray. You had some seats going on in there. You got the steering wheel. Some dials there picked out in silver. Some more wheels. There's four of them, actually five of them. You got the spare tire back there. And you do have his weapons. Right up top, got the missile, got the cannon, got the missile with the tip done in silver. Got the cannon there with some spots of black. And this whole rig can rotate and you can angle the weapons up and down however you wish. You don't want to do that though, that's just, that's not smart. That's very dangerous. That's a very dangerous thing to do right there. But angle it however you wish. Um, the tires are rubbery, very stiff rubber, but they are rubber. It does roll. Oh. This likes to come off, you stay. He rolls, as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And there's the top, and there's the bottoms. You can see everything is very nicely concealed. So there you have that. And for comparison, here he is with the Combiner Wars Swindle. Here he is with the Unique Toys Swindle. So you can see how those two look side by side. And here he is with G1 Swindle because he's precious! Oh, so precious. Here he is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. And lastly but not leastly, here he is with the Ocular Max Vortex. So you can see how the team is starting to shape up. So, there you go! So that is basically it for the vehicle mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Hey, hey, whoa. <laughs> Did, wait a second, I, I gotta, I, I gotta get that. I, I, I gotta, I, I gotta get that. D -d -d Come here, thank you, thank you. Okay, that, just, that, that wasn't supposed to happen. That, that wasn't supposed to happen, but it happened uh, anyway. So yeah, the, so shall we, let's. Ooh, there we go. That's a safer way to do it. Uh, so, let's start off by removing this manually instead of it flying off into the distance. Remove that, and we do have to split this whole backside here. Like so. And just kind of wiggle this out. And you can see all this just sandwiches in between those two sections. So, we'll just put all this off to the side for now. Close this back up. And now we can get down to transforming. So, as usual, we're going to go into combined mode first and then go into robot mode. So to get them into combined mode, what we're going to do here is we're going to take this front bumper section here. We're going to pull this up. 
like so. Bring these side sections here and just bring them up and fold them down. Rotate this around and push that back in. We're going to come down here. Let me raise up a little bit. Yeah, so I got room to operate. You want to come to this section here and just pull this out and just bring this all the way out on this double hinge and get that out of the way. So we're going to undo, well, we're not undoing anything, actually we're just bringing these down. These are not actually tabbed into anything. Not yet anyway. Just bring these down. And also bring these panels down as well because that frees up these little slider sections here. Because you need to kind of undo this back section here. Yes, you can get it out of your way. And that could take a bit of doing. Come on. Bring those seats up too. There we go. Just to get that out of the way for now. And we're going to take the seats here. And these will come down like so. Come down like ah. Uh, so those are stiff. And there we go. So now we're going to come up here. Take this little panel here. Just bring that up against the wheel. Bring that up against the wheel. And we're going to take the wheel itself. And that will un peg from the side, undo that, undo that, and now what we're going to do here is we're going to take this section here, which is his arm, and this is going to slide outward, so just kind of get a grip on everything here, and just kind of wiggle, 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 and that will slide out like that, so just slide that out, and bring it out, same thing on the other side, just kind of grab a hold and slide that out, bring that out, and you did all of that work just to do this, that's it. <laughs> just to turn the waist around. Yeah, it's a kind of a lot of work just to do one simple little move, but hey, that's what you got to do. And once we do that, we just have to bring everything back in. Get that all nice and squoze back together. Tab those back in. Tab those wheels back in. You can bring this little, little part of the wheel well out if you want to, or not. It really doesn't matter either way. Do that. There we go. So now we can bring all this and tab it back in to place, like so, just bring these back up, bring this back up, make sure that these panels stay tabbed together, like so, you can kind of bring the uh, steering wheel down, you can see it's on a hinge there, bring that down, bring the windshield down, and you can take these sections here and just bring them up like that. And like that, so I sit like so. Take these panels here. These are going to fold back like that. You want to take these sections here, bring them up, bring them up, and just grab this little bottom assembly here and just slide it down like so. And then bring these sections up, and that will lock all that into place. So now we can bring out what will be Bruticus's little toes here. Bring that out. This back section here is going to come down, it's on a double hinge. You wanna take this entire heel section here, this entire bit, just bring all that out like that. And you bring this whole double hinge down, you can see there's a little tab that's gonna go into a notch right in there, so it's gonna sit like that. And do the same thing on the other side, just bring that heel piece down, bring all this down, just rock it down, and that will sit into place like that. Now we can kinda of get everything tabbed back together, like so. And we're almost there. So you want to bring this panel up, undo this panel here, bring it down. That will clip in right over these little sections here. This raises up. And we're pretty much done. We're pretty much done here. But one last thing we have to do is there is storage for all this stuff. So we just remove these weapons here. Remove that. This cannon here does come apart in two pieces and all this can store on the leg mode. So what we do here, oh, one more thing we want to do, we want to take these panels here and also bring them all the way down like so, just like that. There we go. So now to store everything, this bit right here just goes over this tab and sits like that. You take this portion of the cannon and that will plug in right here, like so. You take a little missile launcher and that will plug in right there on the other side. You take the spare tire and this just goes over these two tabs, like so. And this portion, you can see how these 
two little hooks. Got these little notches right here, and that just slides up like so. You just close all this up, and there you have everything stored. That's quite clever. I like that. But there you go. There you have a Swindle in his leg mode. And it works. It's, it's a Bruticacy leg mode there for Swindle. And again, I like how all of his accessories just come apart and just store back there. I think that is quite, quite clever. And again, it's part of that all-in-one scheme that Ocular Max is doing with this combiner. So, you know, there's no parts for me as far as the combined mode parts go. And that's pretty cool. And you got ankle tilts and all that good stuff to fucking even pivot up and down a bit. So, yeah, pretty, pretty cool leg mode there. And again, requires no parts forming. Me likes, me likes. So, let's get down to robot mode. So, to do that, we first need to uh, undo all this, put this off to the side, put this off to the side, take all this off, spare tires, gun parts, there we go. Now we can get started. So what are we going to start with? Ah, we'll start with the legs. We'll start with the legs, work our way up, so we can just... Got to bring these down, get them out of the way. We can, well, we can raise this up because we need to get this out of the way. You want to bring these down, bring these down. Just bring this up, you can bring this up halfway. And then just you know, split all of this like so and extend his legs. These will tab in right to the back of that section there to hold all that in place. Bring all that, that holds all that in place. Then we can flip these up like so. We can split the legs now. This portion of the seat, there's a tab and a slot right there. So just bring that down and that will lock in the front part of his knee like so. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to just bring only this section up like that and just leave that heel spur. And this heel does slide in to lock into place. You can see when you bring it out, that allows it to move around, slide that in, and that locks it in place. And then we just bring that down, slide the foot up, bring it down, close that up, and there you have a leg all done. Second pass is just like the first. So just bring this section up, just slide the heel spur into place to lock it in, bring that down, slide the foot up like so, bring that down, lock it in place, bring this back around, and there you have the lower body all done. So now moving on to the upper body. We're just going to undo this panel here, bring that up, and just lock it right up there. Again, we want to bring this double hinge all the way out like so, and we are going to raise up a little bit more. And again, you just want to Take these little panels here, bring them up against the wheels, undo these sections like so, bring them out to the side, and now we're just going to slide these arms out again. Second time we're doing this, slide them out like so, and slide them out like so. I'm glad these have loosened up because when I first got this toy, it was a pain in the butt to get these slid out, and now they're actually working a lot better, a lot more smoothly. So apparently that is something that just kind of has to, you know, you have to kind of wear it in after you get it, but they're working pretty well now. So once we have done that, we're going to take this section here of the hood. This is on double hinge, so you want to bring this down like so. You want to come up here. You want to undo this section, bring that out, flip this section in. These little sections right here, you just want to rotate these down like so. And then these sections here with the headlights, We'll swing down to either side like that. Oops. Let's get caught. There we go. Bring those down like so. And then you're going to take all of this and all of this will swing around to reveal the head. We could turn this head around like so. And then we just take this whole hood assembly here and we rotate it. Oops. You want to bring the windshield down, let's get things out of the way, and just rotate all of this around like so, and just bring that up. Make 
sure everything sits properly. Make sure that windshield is sitting properly. And we're on our way, people. So we are on our way. So we just want to bring this up, keep that out of the way. These panels are on hinges and they flip in, but I don't know why, to be perfectly honest, because I don't know. <laughs> because for, for how they sit on the back, they this not that doesn't really help anything. I don't know. Anyway. Maybe that's something I missed. It wasn't in the instructions. I have no idea. The instructions don't even acknowledge that these panels move, so I have no idea. But anyway, you want to untab the arm from this panel here, rotate it up, and then swing it around to the front like so. This wheel will swing around and just tab in right there, like that. Same thing on the other side. Just untab it, bring it up, swing it around. Rotate this up like so, and then we can bring the arms back and just slide them into place like so. There are also little posts in there and tabs as well, so everything stays nice and secure like. And we just bring this panel down against his back, bring this up like so, and all that locks into place for a nice like. We can turn his waist around and slide that up like so. And we're at the home stretch here, people. We're at the home stretch. So bring the arm down, bring the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. And the arm is going to extend on this double hinge here. And you'll want to rotate it. So you actually have an elbow joint. You want to open up this panel, flip out the hand, close that up. There you had the arm all done. Second fast, just like the fast. Just extend it, rotate, open. Flip and close. And we're pretty much done here. But let's just add the extra finishing touches here, shall we? He still doesn't look totally, totally swindly. So we can bring in a spare tire and that just tabs in right here onto his back, like so. We bring in his cannon, put that back together. And that will peg in to his shoulder right there. And this bit right here does tab in behind his leg. We're kind of getting into the weapons right now. But yeah, no, we have to finish off the look. I feel it finishes off the look. And a little, little missile launcher here. You flip that down. You got a little handle. And you have the tab on the other side of the hand. The typical tab in the slot of the palm method of weapon holding. We can open up his hands here. And just tie that in. And there you go. And there you have it. There you have Frodo, aka Swindle, in his robot mode. And he's a good looking G1E Swindly Swindle. Swindly Swindle Meister, if you will. But yeah, I like him. Definitely like the look of these guys. I'm really digging this set so far. I've, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. But let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his windshield chest, but out his noggin. There's that noggin. You can see, pretty nice swindly head sculpt there. He's got the big purple eyes going on. Face done in a gunmetal gray. But yeah, very nice. Got that box head going on there. But all nicely done head sculpt. Of course, the windshield chest. Even the windshield wipers are picked out in paints there. And just a big old blocky chest. He does have the faux, <laughs> the faux uh, fronts there of the Jeep. But again, with some nice metallic blue paint in there as well as some purple. Looks quite good. And those legs. There's big old feet. That's heel spurs going on there. And the back is pretty clean. It is, a, it is a very clean transformation as well. He doesn't really have much of a backpack. This little panel back here, but oh no. Very clean transformation. It all works. It all works quite, quite well in my opinion. So articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint. So you do have your wiggly waggly, wiggly waggly. He can look up, he can look down. Head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360. Can move in and out on a very snug joint, at least on my copy. And he does have bicep rotation. He does have a double jointed elbow due to transformation there. So he has a nice range of movement. Let me take this out of his hand. He does have wrist articulation. The wrists are actually on a ball joint. So you get a little bit of wiggly waggly there. A little bit, a little bit of wiggly waggly. The thumb is on a ball joint at the base there. So it can rotate and move up and down. And each finger, oops. Each finger is on a hinge at the base there. 
So you get some decently poseable hands. It does have waist rotation. These panels can move out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. And whoops, the, <laughs> the, 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 the bottom of the seat fell out. That's new. That's the first time that's happened. Okay, I'm going to have to put a little dab of glue on that. But anyway, that can move out of the way. Legs can move forward that far. They can move back that far. Outward. You can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. This is going to pop off. And 90 degrees of bend at the knee. As far as the feet go, they can move up a bit. They can move down a little bit. And you have a little bit of ankle tiltage and of course the toe can move down and if you need to you know kind of undo the heel here that can move up and down a little bit to maybe help supporting some poses now ocular max added this interesting little detail that they did not have to do but i appreciate it i appreciate it now when i first saw pictures of this guy i saw the uh the little faux wheels there on his shoulders and i thought oh that's nice they just molded those on and you know painted them real nice like but no these are actually a uh, separate piece and they do roll. They do spin. They didn't have to do that. They didn't have to do that. They could have just molded that in and painted it. But no, it's a separate little piece there. Hey, why not? There I say, why not? Just gives it that little extra bit of authenticity there. I can appreciate it. I can appreciate it. But as far as his weaponry goes, of course, we can give him the little miss launcher here. You can hold it in either hand like I already had him doing. Or if you want, you can take this piece off and uh, this spin this around here we can actually take this and this can plug onto a shoulder if you want and then you can just kind of plug this in here like that if you want to because hey that's you know things you can do if you want to do it hey why not you got options and there's always options are good so you know hey just things you can do if you want to do them and the last thing that is included with Swindle here is an optional head sculpt. So the head sculpt that is on him right now, as you can see, is just a serious stern face. But you do get a, a happy Swindle face. He is happy. And the heads are very easy to swap out. It's just on a ball joint. So you just, boop, pop it off. Pop new one on. Boop. There you go. And now he's happy Swindle. Yay. <laughs> so... There you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with Combiner Wars Swindle. Here he is with the Unique Toys Swindle. So you can see how that works out. And here he is with G1 Swindle because he's precious. Oh, so precious. Here he is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. With Masterpiece Star Scream. With Masterpiece Megs. And lastly, but not leastly, again, here he is with the Ocular Max Vortex. So we can see how the team is shaping up. And so far, the team is looking pretty, pretty good. So there you go. So there you have a Frodo. And uh, yeah, so far, I am definitely impressed by this set. I'm liking these. I am really digging these. The vehicle mode looks good. The robot mode looks good. The combined mode looks good as well. Nothing really suffers too much for this all-in, uh, you know, transformation. So yeah, definitely... Uh, Definitely some good stuff happening here from Ocular Max. So far, I think they are knocking this out of the park, but that is just my opinion. So, there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Ocular Max's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Assaultist playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Ocular Max Frotto, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud. Oh, in your face. Swindle, the newest member of my Combatacon army. With you by my side, we can't lose. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I appreciate that and all, but, uh, you know, what's in it for me? I mean, there's got to be some profit in this. 
Profit? What are you? What is with you combaticons and money? Isn't serving your Lord Star Scream enough? You ain't got no money, do you? Well, I. You know, th well, here's the thing. Yeah, you're broke. I am not broke. I have money. I just. I just need to. Uh, I just need to find it. Yeah, you're broke. Will will you take an IOU?